Hey there, everybody. I want to do a video today with a machine shop tip um, of measuring a diameter with a height gauge. Maybe let's pretend here that you're working on this chalk like I am today. I'm going to be machining a back plate for this chalk for my 14 by 40 lathe. And I got thinking when I was setting up to do this job this morning, you know, what would someone do if they didn't have measuring tools big enough to measure some of these diameters like the ID or the OD. And I got thinking, I said, well, I should just do a little video for, to kind of help some people out that might not have the measuring equipment they would need to work on larger stuff. And uh, I'm gonna show you in this video how you can use a height gauge to measure. In this instance, we're gonna measure the OD of this chuck. So I have my uh, stair at square here. You know, you could try to eyeball it with a square or whatever to try to figure out what the, the height of the, the, the diameter of that chuck is, but that's really not gonna work. You're not gonna be able to get a real accurate measurement. So let's, let's use the height gauge and the stare at last word indicator to measure the OD of this chuck. All right, the first thing I've done is I brought in a one inch parallel and I placed it in front of the chuck. And I'm gonna bring my height gauge in here with the stare at last word on it. And I am going to bring the indicator down until the indicator comes up to zero. Okay. Okay, I've got it to repeat right to zero. Now, I'm gonna set zero on my height gauge as well. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the height gauge up. Mine actually has a travel, an old mechanical travel indicator. But I'm gonna bring the height gauge up all the way until the indicator is just above the top of the chuck. All right, now I've gone nine inches, and that's to the top of the chuck. You can see there that my indicator is just over the chuck. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gently bring down the indicator until it starts to touch the top of the chuck. Then I'm gonna find the high point on the top of the chuck. Well, in that instance, I did really good because I found the high point. So, my indicator is now at zero, which is where I had set the zero on the height gauge previously when we were on top of the parallel. So, we are at eight inches 856 thousandths. Eight inches, 856 thousandths of an inch. So now we take our 8.856 and we just simply add the parallel and find out that we are at 9.856. That is the OD of the chuck. So you can figure out other ways to use your height gauge to make all kinds of dimensions and just use your imagination and you can measure a lot of stuff with just a simple height gauge. Okay, now that we know what the diameter of the OD is, what if we wanted to find the ID of this here? Well, we already know that the OD was 9.856. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back down I have the indicator zeroed, I have the height gauge zeroed. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up the height gauge again. I'm gonna bring it down until it reads up on the indicator. Okay, I have it reading now. 
Only this time, instead of trying to find the high point, I'm gonna find the low point. So the low point is right about there. Now I'm gonna bring the indicator to zero. Indicator is now zeroed at the low point of the ID. Now I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna read where I was at. And it was 2.3, close to 2.345, a couple tenths below. And now I add on the one inch from the parallel and I'm gonna come out with approximately 3.348 we could call it 3.345 for the purposes of what we're doing. So you can see the height gauge can be used in many ways to get many different dimensions on something that you might not have other tools to measure with. All right, so now let's say I want to measure the diameter here, this inside diameter. We already know the measurement of the OD of the chuck. We use two methods to determine that it is 9.856. So now I've set up a 500 thousandths gauge block here to touch off on because my indicator, I don't want the angle of the indicator too far and it would be too far down if I touched off the table. So I've set my 500 thousandths gauge block there, brought the indicator up, set it down on this surface, found the low point, set my zero, came over here and measured 872 thousandths. So to find the inside diameter here, we're gonna multiply that by two. So let's get our calculator out, 0.8, oh, I'm sorry. 872 times two, 1.744. Now, we know that it was 9.856, minus 1.744 to find out that the ID here is 8.112. Okay, now what if we wanted to test our measurement? We had 9.856 as the OD of the chuck. Now, I built a gauge block stack that measures 9.856. I've got a four inch, I've got a three inch, I've got a two inch, I've got a 750, and then I got a 106. Okay, so I've come back here to the top and I have found the high spot, which is right about there. I don't know if you can see well. And what I'm gonna do is, now I'm gonna come back off. I'm at, the, I'm at the chamfered edge now. Now here we go, I'm on the gauge block stack. And it shows the gauge block stack is about a half a thousandths bigger. So I would say I'm very happy with the measurement being within plus or minus a half a thousandths. That would be good enough for what I'm doing with this job here. So you can use things like gauge blocks, and other tools with your surface plate and your height gauge to take measurements and then double check your measurements with other methods. All right, now here's just another test of the ID. I, I created a gauge block stack of 8.111 and it was having a hard time starting. I can easily get the 8.110 to start and hold itself just at the very corner of the gauge block stack. So I'm thinking that this is probably right at 8.111. I was just having a hard time getting it to start using gauge blocks. So we read 8.112 with the height gauge. The gauge blocks is a solid 8.111. So again, we're able to double check ourselves within a thousandths, plus or minus one which for a lot of work would be fine anyways. This is just ideas you can use to 
help yourself, take measurements, and then second guess or second check your measurements, confirm your measurements um, with other means, using just a granite table, height gauge, indicators, and gauge blocks.